guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York, and from me today I have a box of 2019-2020 Upper Deck Stature to capture. Let's crack her, let's fracture her, let's see these refractors. Uh, configuration, eight cards per pack, and it would be only one pack per box, which would amount to eight cards total. Uh, these cards to me are a bit of a ripoff of Leaf Metal. They got a couple more moves in Leaf Metal and they aren't sticker autos, but come on, man. Upper Deck ripping stuff off again. So let's squeeze this video in before it gets loud again here in Brooklyn. I think they're cutting down trees and stuff. Base set, Vet Legends 1 through 100. Rookies 101 through 200. Uh, number to 3, Nan -de Nan. There are parallels, so there's the greens, reds, blues, blacks, and purples, and do look for tiers and groupings. Now the price point's a bit too much for me, and the reason why I say that is there are groupings, and so for example, to hit the Jack Hughes Rookie Reliance Auto, which is a group A, that's only 0.1% chance at that. And let's say you have one or two base uh, rookies within here, uh, that would amount to one or two percent because there's a hundred rookie cards to hit the catch you want to hit So keep that in mind. I mean even the Nick Suzuki uh, Is a group B for the rookie reliance So that would be a one percent opportunity to hit him if he's the guy you're looking for So understand these odds understand that the odds are stacked against us uh, But do look for auto patches those do exist, but again those are only numbered to 33 So those are not obvious to hit Within a box break, do expect two base set vets or legends, uh, two of the number parallels, one auto or auto patch, mindful that the auto patches are hard to hit, one base rookie number to three, nan -de nan one insert, and that would be the rookie reliance, the esteemed, which are the stars, and the century momentous, which would be your hall of famers, and one extra auto numbered rookie or numbered parallel or insert card. So let's get this going, guys. Let's uh, crack open the stature. Uh, the Rookie Reliance Autos checklist is a good checklist and it has the Jack Hughes and the Cody Glass and the Philip Sedinas and the Kale McCars and your entire rookie class that we're all familiar with, including Quinn Hughes and Haig and Fox and Nick Suzuki. And here is our box and our box. Uh, I'm using my phone today, so this should be interesting. And let's see if we can prop it up somehow. Perhaps we can do something like akin to this. And let's open this puppy up. Try to fight it. Is it. I don't know if you saw that top card, but it's there. So first card off the top. And I don't know if you guys saw it. Yeah, I just saw it. And it would happen to be a Phil Esposito. So this is a base card. Actually pretty nice. Uh, as I said, kind of like the metal cards. Very shiny and bright. Handsome looking card. Phil Esposito. 10th all time in points. Uh, you probably know him for Boston Rangers in the Canada Summit Series. Nice. So these are thick, substantial, pretty decent looking cards, I must say. And who is next is the question. And coming right at us, horizontal as heck. And we have a Matthew Kachuk card. So that's pretty nice. Uh, a pretty well-known quantity at this time, a bit of a monster. Uh, wow, you see his game played points in 2018-19, 77 points in 80 games played. Uh, nice looking base card again. So this is another base card. And I assume our base rookie would be this one. And our base rookie would be, who is this? Oh, it's, it's Fairberry. So we have a Martin Fairberry, who was a second rounder. Uh, you can see his Swedish numbers right there. Another sort of shiny, glossy, thick, substantial card. And now I guess we can gather we're into the parallels. I think we I can see the uh, green tint. And who is it is the question. And our, ooh, cool. We hit a rookie parallel. And it's only number to 149. So we hit the green and we hit Olofsson, uh, who certainly is a star. He was a late rounder, but he was just a monster this year. He had 20 goals. Uh, looked really good on a hot uh, Jack Eichel power play. Uh, pretty happy with this one, guys. This guy is one of the better rookie cards. And he was a seventh rounder in 2014 uh, and put up 42 points in 54 games. He got hurt because his um, skate spiked into the ice. So who is this is the question. So this is our next card. And it would be, oh, look at this. It's a Patrick Kane and it's a red, number to 75 only. It's a pretty nice looking card. Pretty handsome looking red card of Patrick Kane. Can't complain about this. Uh, he was, of course, the first overall was Patrick Kane. 
you know, in 2007 in that draft and um, when JVR went second and Patrick Kane went first. Okay guys, auto time. And let's just see who it is. Coming at you horizontal. And it's, no way, I fucking yemi. As for a second, I thought it was Suzuki. Uh, I actually don't have a preference between the two. I like them both. Uh, I don't know the grouping for this, uh, but he of course was drafted third overall in 2018. Uh, put up 13 points with the Rocket this year, and I still think he looks great. Uh, his vision is spectacular. Uh, jury's still out on him and so on, but we drafted a center on purpose and he looks good. So I am, I'm cool with this. I'm really, really cool with this hitting the Kakanyemi base. Uh, non-rookie, I gather, because it's very obviously not. Uh, nice, really, really cool. I actually hit the Kakanyemi. So he's a group C, um, which isn't bad. So that basically means he's a 4% uh, hit. So isn't the worst ever. Uh, here we have another one of the, oh cool, nice. We hit an Austin Matthews. So this one's number to 149. I guess it's just a base parallel, uh, a normal base parallel, right? Of Austin Matthews. That is pretty sick looking. It's got a stash going. Uh, can't complain about this, guys. Nice green numbered cart. And we have a couple more left. I know that we don't have a patch because I can tell from the thickness. So let's see what this one is, guys. And another card, and what is this? Oh, cool. So we hit a Century Momentous card and we actually hit the Sid Crosby. Uh, I don't know, are these in groupies or are these just base? I can take a look at this, but these are of course the uh, best of the inserts because they're the Hall of Famers as opposed to the rookies. Well, it depends. It depends on your preference, I gather. Uh, but we hit the Sid uh, stacking the cup over his head. I can't mind that either. So those don't have groupings, by the way. Uh, I think they're like 31% of the time. But at the city, you have to divide by the 25 card checklist. So here is our next card, our last card. Uh, and I think it's the same thing, more or less. And look at this. So it's another Century Momentous, and we have the Ray Bork, uh, who won a Stanley Cup in his last year, like Lanny McDonald, uh, stacking the cup above him. So that's not bad, guys. It's actually a decent box, I must say, and my auto is someone who actually is a PC, so I can't complain, guys. Okay, guys, time for the recap. So uh, with Gartar base cards, we, in fact, received two base cards total, and here they are. We have the Matt Kachuk, who is six overall, in 2016 by Calgary, of course, and there's Phil Esposito from our Summit Series and from our Boston Bruins and from our Rangers and 10th all time in points. Uh, two really nice looking base cards. You can see they're uh, really handsome. I think they're sort of a bit of a ripoff of Leaf Metal, but that's just me. In terms of base parallels, we did receive two of the heavy hitters. We received the screen of Austin Matthews, number two, 149. Uh, first overall, of course, in 2016. First overall in 2007 would be Patrick Kane. So here we go, we have the red number to 75. Uh, two substantial looking uh, base parallels, numbered cards. And in terms of our Century Momentous cards, we actually received Sid the Kid. Kind of cool, right? This is what the backs look like. Also the Ray Bork, so he has 1,263 points in his career. He's uh, has I think 1,600. First overall for D is uh, Ray Bork. Of course, won the Stanley Cup in his last year did Ray Bork. So these would be our two century momentous inserts. And then with the Gartier rookies, we received two of the rookies, one of which was uh, the base rookie card, number to 399. There's Martin Fairberry, second round of 2018. And we had Victor Olofsson, one of my favorite rookies. Actually uh, drafted in 2014 in the seventh round, but he was lights out this year with 20 goals in, uh, what was it, some 54 games. He looks spectacular this year playing with Jack Eichel on the power play as a trigger man. Uh, so those would be our rookie cards. Finally guys, the hitter of the box would happen to be the Esperi Kakanyemi uh, base auto, really hot looking card, group C, really happy with it. Uh, obviously PC for me, so fortuitous and lucky for me to hit Kakanyemi. So there you go guys, a colorful box of the stature. Didn't know what to expect. Bunch of heavy hitters, uh, super happy with the auto, love it. Please be sure to sub like, hashtag dry, and I have made full cars live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. É João, é José, é um espinho, na mão, é um corte, no pé, são as águas de março, fechando o verão, é a promessa de vida no teu coração, é pau, é pedra, é o fim do caminho, é um rei.